Today on Technical Corner, I'm joined by Scott from CG Tech. Now, these guys actually sell Vericut software, which I've always thought is just simulation software, but we're gonna show you that it's not just about that type of software in 10 minutes, but Scott normally does a presentation for half an hour. So tick us off, let's go. I'm gonna condense this into 10 minutes, Mark, and I'm gonna try and show you some of the key features, the core functionality that resides within our software. Okay, so what Vericut is all about, very briefly, is simulating the machine tool, okay? So emulating your machine tool like for like as it stands on the, on, on the shop floor. Right. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, bearing in mind that this is a virtual control, this is a virtual machine, is check syntax. Okay, so if we have a lot of customers out there, write handwriting code. So now I'm gonna check the syntax, just click this, click this function here, and immediately we can see we've got an error. Okay, it's telling me the error is at address line 18. So we're gonna click it. We arrive at the error on the left-hand side. So we can just remove that error, simple as that. And I do a file, I do a save, and we're at reset. We do that again, no errors. The second thing we're gonna do is preview the NC tape. We're gonna have a look through the NC tape to see if we've got any major collision points that reside within our NC code that you could potentially get on the machine tool. Okay, so the benefit being all the time is that we're checking for things, ensuring the CNC machine is safe, um, ensuring we take that, we remove that prove out element from the shop floor. Okay, so we're just gonna look at a few of these issues. And one thing I, I, I should point out to, to engineers as well is that obviously Ferrico actually runs on NC's code effectively, so it can work with every machine tool. Hundred percent, really good point, Mark. Any machine tool, probably more importantly, any CNC controller, Fanuc, Heidenheim, and um, Siemens. And we actually take subroutines out of the machine tool, we bring them into Vericut, so we, we make sure that we're emulating your CNC machine tool like for like as it stands on the machine, on the machine shop floor. Okay, and the next stage? So we've just scanned, previewed the NC tape. We haven't got a cut stock yet. The idea being is that we can quickly scan through the tape. Have we got any collisions? take me to those collisions. So every time I make a click, you'll be in taken to that particular element. You can zoom and have a look at that problem as well. So we've, now we've finished with preview. You would rectify them in your cam system, give the code back to, to Vericut. Um, and then you can start to actually simulate through the part. So now we can actually see the cut stop being produced. Okay, and we can control the animation speed here. If you really want to, you can sit and look at this, we don't encourage it, because the most important part about our software is this area here. This is the Vericut log file. This is where any errors are gonna be trapped and you're gonna to be told about those errors and what the errors are as well, more importantly. So, just gonna fast, fast forward this through. Gonna get it to the end of the setup. As I said, any problems are being trapped in this area here. We're going, running through this NC tape as fast as we can. And to be fair, hopefully you don't, you don't have any down here, but this is just obviously to show you, you know, the elements of the actual software, the strength of it, yeah? Yeah, this is, yeah. A, this is a tough gig today, Mark, because we're trying to condense half an hour into 10 minutes. But, of course, yeah. You know, that's what, we, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> Welcome to our game. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this, this, yeah, so we, we'll get to the point in a minute. We're just going to wait to the end of this setup. And then we're going to have a look at some of these errors we got on the part. It's also the speed of uh, uh, customers' computers, for instance. Would, would that make a difference with Vericut, just out of interest? It can do, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah it can okay. do. So now we're looking at the problems. So we've got a problem here. We arrive at the problem. We've told what the problem is. We click here. We arrive at the problem. But at the moment, nothing's happened graphically. What we want is to have a, now interrogate that problem. So we're going to put the software into review mode we arrive at the motion block where the problem is. So now we can maybe dive into the NC code here, single block through, and there you go, you've got your issue. So let's just click another one. Here I've got a problem where Vericut's telling me the holder has actually collided with the stock. Okay, but there's nothing immediately obvious to me what's, what's happened there. So let's just split the screen. Let's have a look at the workpiece view again. It's not, not that obvious. So let's have a look at section. So now we're gonna take a section through the part and the machine, and let's just do the orthogonal view, which is there, there, sorry. And you can zoom up and you can see the actual 
the holder has actually come into collision with the stock. So we've actually tracked that problem before you find that problem on the machine. And again, that's the whole idea of Vericut. You find the problems here before you take it to the machine. And I suppose to a certain extent it, it, is that it doesn't have to just be precision parts, does it? Uh, you know, hard materials, for instance. It, it could be a, any any cutting surface, effectively, yeah? Yeah, we have a lot of pattern makers, yeah. uh, things like that, soft materials. Um, yeah, we do we do a bunch of different things. So, so, so what's the next stage after we've got here and obviously looked at a... So once we've interrogated the errors, hopefully you should have a clean log file indicating you've got no errors in the process. So what we're going to do now is just to take a look at this part. So actually measure some features. So I'm just going to turn off the machine tool view. So I've just got the cut stock left on the machine, on the, on the screen. So we're going to have a look at maybe measuring a few of these features on the part. We do this via the ribbon bar called X caliper. Think of Excalibur, if you've got things on your machine tool for measuring parts like, like your vernier caliper, like your micro, like your depth gauge and things like that. That's what Excalibur is in a virtual environment. So, so very much the sort of inspection part of the software then, yeah? Exactly that, Mark. Yeah, okay. exactly that. So we're going to check a thickness here. So if I just walk up to this wall, you can see I've got a thickness there of 2.87. You know, there's a bunch of functions here you can interrogate the part with you know if I click click a feature if I click in that area there I've, I, I'm told I've got a cylinder I mean indeed if I turn the colors on I can just click that feature there that's gone gold it's told me the line of code that cut that particular feature the tool that cut it the feed rate was cut at you just you're just making interrogation on the part um, it's, it's very specific, actually, isn't it? There's so much more to it than, than just your, the avoidance of collisions. Right, first time every time. That's what the software's all about. Yeah. That's what we live and die by. So that's a manual check mark. So what we're going to do now is do more of an automated check. So what we're going to do is actually do an automatic comparison between the design and what we've actually cut. Right. So there's a CAD model behind this. So that's what we're going to check. So we're so, going to go, and also it's, it's fair to say that Vericut integrates with most CAD CAM software. We interface. In so if you've done ah, a, okay. if you've done a lot of work in your CAD CAM system, yep. to find your tools, fixtures, work offsets, things like that, we can harvest all that good stuff. Yep. Bring that into Vericut. It's very quick yep. to get the get the session running. So it's a very proven sort of hundred percent guarantee that you know what you're going to make effectively. You're going to make properly to scale with no collisions, no scrap, no risk. Right. Important to yeah. say. Yeah. So Autodiff, as I said before, is going to compare cut stock to the design model. So I'm just going to do compare. Okay, and you notice here I've got a blue, which is excess material, and I've got gouge, which is you've actually cut into the material. So all the red areas here are, are in a state of gouge. All the blue areas are excess. So in that area here, we haven't quite cut that corner out properly. Oh. All this blue area here is going to be cut away with the second setup, so I'm not too concerned. So now I've identified I've got a gouge, I could just do a restore, and I just close that. What I could actually do is say, measure between the design stock and and the um, the, the stock and the design. Right. Yeah. So if I just click that wall, we can now see we've got a, a gouge error of 0.13 millimeters. And that really concludes the core of, of what I would say Verica is. And, and obviously, when you're seeing customers, every customer is very different, parts are different, machine tools are different, as you've said before, because obviously you can buy one machine to have an identical machine tool next to it, and you know, there is slight variations because that's the, you know, that's the world of manufacturing, isn't there? What would you say is the major benefit for actually buying Verica? So, two major things. Collision risk, which is a major thing, one collision on your machine generally will pay for the software. The second thing is prove out. How much time are you spending possibly making scrap? How much time do your operators spend in watching a machine run through? Some of our customers make massive parts for aerospace. They yeah. can't physically see where the spindle is. Yeah. They can't see it. So there's no point in standing there single block because they can't actually see what it's doing. A lot of these smaller machines you see, people might watch it through, but how much is that costing you? How much, is that, how much is that costing the business to have someone stood there? Is it safe? Isn't it safe? Maybe dialing down the feed rate. Okay. Sorry, cut does all that for you. Takes care of it. 
And, and when, when you do, you guys update the software on a regular basis, because you're all engineers by heart, aren't you? So obviously you're developing this. Do, do customers have to actually sort of pay for the, the upgrades? So there's a, you, you can buy the software, it's a perpetual license, you own the software. Um, optional is you can have a maintenance contract with us that gives you software updates and that gives you support. Um, and our support is second to none. If I was to actually pick up the phone now, dial our support line, someone would actually answer the phone. We're not entered into like a queue or a ticketing system yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. We're very responsive, very, very quickly. Uh, and what, what do you think has been the success of Vericut in the UK? Um, the success with, I just think it's a, it's a great company, Mark, really. We're a good, good business. We service our customers well, um, and we pride ourselves on, on what we do. Scott, I've, I've learned so much more about Vericut as software. It's not just about simulation or collision avoidance. So it's, thank you very much for your time. So any engineers that would like to discover how Vericut can actually save you money and time, then contact Scott. I'm sure he will give you the full presentation at your company is no problem at all. And as we say on MTD CNC, I think Verica will keep your spindle turning.